Oh, Gemini. What's the tea on this talking shenanigans? And then I get Bishop Briggs. But it has such a weird undertone to it. Shut your mouth, yeah, stand and deliver. Oh my god. Like, stop talking shit and own up or something. Okay. Okay. Four of Wands. Jealous much? Yeah, shut your mouth and stand and deliver. <gasps> I said gasp! <laughs> Alright, we've got a betrayal. Somebody is working hard to make a new offer because there's, okay, there's two people in a community, right? Or oh, this is a marriage. Is it a marriage? Talking shit about a marriage. There's not two people. There, there's, there's somebody talking shit about your marriage. And how... There was betrayal. But after some... Doing some work. There's an, an initiation. What's the betrayal? Maybe somebody just, um, wow, that's the Ace of Wands. Is there a betrayal in a marriage because of this? Oh, I'm getting betrayal of thought process over some sort of initiation to create something very very passionate oh my gosh that is in that's that's a betrayal of the mind and then an initiation for something divine that is actually a burden another 10 what so somebody's working on themselves to offer better to initiate better There's clarity coming forward with some good news. Goes from the page to the two. About moving forward with something, okay. M moving forward possibly with, with... forward with something. Moving forward, but not with this. Stand and deliver. Stand and deliver. Oh my goodness. Yeah, somebody's working on their vision, what they want. Somebody's working on themselves so they can get what they want and initiate some kind of huge off. All right, so somebody's mind betrayed them, or a couple's mind betrayed them. Gemini, if this is your story, you... are in a marriage people were talking shit about. Now, that also could have caused a lot of confusion, mental confusion, where there was self-betrayal. Man, this, oh my gosh, everybody and their mother, I'm getting, everybody and their mother was literally talking shit and trying to change the mindset 
that two people were not good for each other. Or like, it, yeah, yeah, you believed, you believed it. You believed it, that you were not good for, you, the you and a, and a partner, perhaps you and someone you were in a marriage with was not good. And it was a total burden that you guys figured your shit out. So now there's an offer because somebody can't move much further with their plans. We're getting a whole group, everybody and their mother. Shut your mouth, you stand and deliver. That's about coming, that's the context that I'm like, what? It, it's, it's about like, yeah, own it. <laughs> own your part in this. Like you're protecting yourself from something. What is it? Oh, the fact that <laughs> when these two are together, something can be distributed. So somebody, some people have to take accountability for trying to change y'all's mind. Take accountability. Shut your mouth and talk about your part in this. How did you um, present people in power to oh, kings? Yeah, people who who have it all. Everybody and their mother. So what was? Why, why are they talking shit? Why? Why? Why the betrayal? Love. Oh, well, I mean, you can have all kinds of things, but not have love, and it can cause jealousy or, or uh, desires outside of your normal plans, if you will. Oh. Gemini, you may be in a power couple, very enlightened marriage. didn't know. <sighs> Somebody's I'll tell you something else. All right, this is an interesting. So this couple that's been left out. One of them has a very strong sense of direction with their roots. Ancestral, okay. One person has kind of alchemized their root chakra knowledge and used it as a cloak, as some kind of protection. And it goes over their head all the way to their shoulders and kind of drapes over. So, one person has divine protection, one person has extremely, like, one person's understanding, this is all ancestral, one person's understanding is rooted, it's, it's so, it believes, it believes in the movement, even though they have a little bit of a shocking, like a, like a nervous look on their face, very, you know, I mean, if you're left out and looking for shelter, and comfort, you know, you might have a little bit of sense of urgency. Somebody has a sense of urgency in their face and another person is like so drained from the direction that they know they have to go in. So one person may be a little like hobbly, one person may be taller than the other, um, only slightly, but it's because some somebody is losing their energy. Both They both operate under some kind of uh, understanding about militant, uh, militant discipline. Okay. What else does Gemini need to know? Okay. Gemini, muy bien. Even if this is your story and you guys are just so enlightened about your purpose on this earth, y'all may come off 
Y'all don't see this part. This is what people are talking shit about. This is what y'all see. That's all that matters, isn't Beauty in the Eye of the Beholder? Well, perhaps your love intimidates. Oh, now look at the bottom of the deck, and it's the hermit. Um, this, it's just causing people to soul search, right? And if something makes some people uncomfortable, if this is making everybody and their mother so uncomfortable, this is the only way to vent that energy. But it's surrounded by these flowers. I think these are carnations. Red carnations. Lip service. It's like they're doing themselves a, a service by giving lip. It, it's, it's, it somehow gives them a, a feeling of empowerment. Um, meanwhile, back at the ranch, jackpot. <laughs> oh, there may be an actual winning money, got rich, inheritance, unexpected money. All right, so um, there may be also, uh, my, my heart kind of just uh, froze up with this lottery ticket. Some kind of unexpected um, lottery win, maybe. Um. <laughs> that apparently people are not gonna think you deserve. I don't really care what uh, people that need to. <laughs> These people are in in the comforts of their own comfort zone, and Gemini, you and this partner are comfortable with the uncomfortable. You kind of have to be. You kind of have to be. Like, what are the options? <laughs> Move on. Yeah. What's up with the lottery ticket? <laughs> well, somebody was like, oh, let's pursue this. <laughs> Somebody thought it was kind of interesting. Um, the lottery ticket brought forth some kind of uh, interest in what could possibly be created what could possibly like it, it, uh, the lottery ticket is probably going to uh set this couple on a very creative adventure where not everybody gets to come not everybody gets to anybody that approaches them about this lottery ticket <laughs> or this sudden windfall windfall i don't understand sometimes why that's considered oh a sudden windfall that just sounds like a hurricane to me, or a tornado to me. Windfall, how about, no, it's a financial windfall. So it's raining, uh, uh, it's raining, it's, it's raining materialism. <laughs> it's an ism, it's an ism, be careful, you can get addicted. All right, I think there's, there's a lottery ticket in play here. <laughs> Epiphany. What's the epiphany? <laughs> okay, with the devil card, I got woodwork. So... You ain't even gotta tell him. Don't tell him. Don't tell him. Bye, Jim, and I love you. 